Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. One of the reasons why I put these timestamps and so forth on here, so 2.40, still the 24th, still Sunday, 40 degrees, and it's kind of uh, overcast now, so my batteries aren't completely charged. Anyway, one of the reasons why I keep putting these timestamps on here so that you guys can get an idea of about how long it takes to do the various tasks I'm doing. Um, the timeline could be probably a little better if I wasn't walking around looking for things like a, I needed a tap and I had to go fetch it. It took me a few minutes to find one, and the holder for the tap took another couple of minutes, and so forth. But generally speaking, this is about the speed I'm going here. What have I done since you've last uh, seen me here on the Mojave? I've welded the shaft back together again. Um, the, weld, the weld is around here somewhere. I don't know if you guys could see it. So I welded the shaft back together again. I um, drilled this out. Actually, it was about the right size, but I um, I used that tap there, that oil there, and I, uh, I don't know, could you guys see the threads in there? So I put, I basically set it up so on the end that I had to grind the bolt off of, I, um, I tapped it out so I can put a bolt through it and this bolt goes all the way in so there I am so here we are I got my shaft in one piece again this is my swing arm pivot shaft I think that's even the proper name for it so what have I been doing over here I'm gonna be playing the one-handed man let's hope Let's hope I can do this justice. Oh God, it sucks getting old. The only good thing about getting old is it beats the alternative. So anyway, there's the end. Here's the um, the bearing, the swing arm bearing. That's one of them in. Um, this keeps falling apart on me. So here's the second bearing. Yeah, it's slightly hammered, but what are you going to do? So the two bearings are in, one in each end. Then you slide this shaft on. Once again, excuse the one handed man. So you can see the shaft going through. I made this copper spacer, the three quarter inch copper. Once again, sorry about the one-handed man. So the spacer's in. You can see what I'm doing is sliding this in. And of course, it works better when I uh, have both hands. But anyway, see that'll slide in, and then the bearings. Here, let me put this down for a second because I want to show you that it's actually relatively tight. Okay, so the shaft is through and it is it is pretty it is pretty tight. I mean obviously that doesn't matter, but there is a little bit of play. But for putting this together to try it out, it's not bad. So what do I have left? I basically have to pick this up and feed it back into the hole, bolt it up on both ends, um, hook the shock up, throw the chain on it, throw a set of tires, and this thing will be ready to drop on its uh, back wheels. Uh, the engine has not been run on this thing in years. I uh, I shouldn't uh, I probably shouldn't admit to this, but I've I picked up a bunch. I've always kind of bought stuff 
Though I've probably had this bike, this is another bike I've probably had over 10 years. When did I buy this house? I bought this house in 96, and I got it shortly after I got this house. So, 96, 2006. God, I've had this bike over 15 years. Boy, talk about losing control of your life. Wow. Yeah, anyway, I've had this bike a, uh, a long time, and I've, I picked it up, and I wanted to put it together. And then after picking this up, I picked this guy up, because I actually wanted to have a set of twins so my son and I could chase each other around. And I've probably owned this bike over 10 years, too. Yeah, hopefully not a full 15. God. So anyway, I've lost a lot of years here. It's like uh, Rip Van Winkle. You kind of uh, go to sleep and uh, you wake up and uh, your kids are older than you are. Anyway, so i got to get this put together. You can see making good progress here. A few little uh, things. Um, when I welded this shaft... I found I discovered that it was able to keep it straighter. I was able to keep it a lot straighter by putting it in a piece of angle iron here, um, and then using a couple of clamps, one on each side, and it um, it sat straighter. Then I'd uh, weld a little piece on it. Then I'd um, take it out, grind it down so it was nice and flat, rotate it, weld a little more. Uh, you know grind it and uh, so that's that's how I uh, welded it back together again if you look through the hole what I guess was a grease shaft though I can't see how it really worked and I guess it didn't work all that well because the swing arm bearings were shot so all in all let's consider all that but um, when you look through the hole of, of the shaft um, it, it's perfectly straight so it did come out quite well so using the angle iron and a couple of clamps worked beautifully some real expensive clamps here could you see the price buck and a half flea market specials all right folks live love have a great time uh, remember keep your tires on the pavement your track on the snow and keep your handlebars where they shouldn't be keep your handlebars away from where they shouldn't be all right, take care, guys, and we'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde.